Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm assuming you've clicked on this video because you need to clean some mold off of your walls. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. But before we get started, I want to make a disclaimer and just say that I am not a professional mold removal person. Uh, I have very limited experience with mold. I'm just your basic everyday homeowner. And sometimes I do get mold on my walls. Um, it, for example, when I moved in, I had it on my shower walls. I used bleach to clean it off. It worked fine. It hasn't come back. And now today the mold I'm going to show you is on the baseboards in my son's bedroom. I'm going to make the assumption that he spilt something <laughs> and mold is now growing from whatever got spilt on the baseboards because, because it's only along the baseboards, which is a solid wood. And I highly doubt it's anything more serious than surface mold. So that's something that you need to take in consideration before you start cleaning the mold. If you have mold on your walls and it's on your drywall, it could possibly be something deeper than surface mold. And if that's the case, likely bleach cleaner won't take care of it long term. I would still recommend giving it a go. Um, for example, when I tried it in my shower and I had some mold in my shower walls, which have drywall at the very top, um, I took the risk. It could have been something deeper. could have been surface mold. I got lucky. It was surface mold. It's been three years. It has not come back. Um, if it had been something deeper and something coming from behind the drywall, it would have come back. We would have needed to hire a specialist and likely parts of the wall would have been cut out, replaced. Could have been a whole other issue. Um, but if you're noticing mold on your walls, I would highly recommend just trying bleach cleaner first. It'll definitely take care of the look of the mold, you'll know within a couple of weeks to a month if it comes back, if it actually took care of the issue or not. But today I'm going to show you guys how to use bleach to take care of mold on your walls. So let's go over everything that you will need. So pretty easy list of things that you're going to need. You're going to need a bleach cleaner, a bowl to put your bleach in, and a sponge to apply the bleach to the wall. Now you could always go an easier route, get this bleach cleaner that comes in a spray bottle, grab yourself a sponge, and then you won't have to deal with pouring the bleach into a bowl. Now, you can dilute the bleach with a little bit of water if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I want the full potency. You may want to wear gloves. Personally, I've never had much issue with bleach as long as I wash my hands immediately afterwards. So, I don't have gloves on hand. I'm not going to worry with it. I'm just going to put my hands directly in the bleach. I'll be fine, I'm sure. But if you have issues or allergies with bleach, make sure that you get some gloves. So, as you can see here, the mold here in my son's room is just along the top of the baseboards. Again, these are solid wood, nothing on the walls, which leads me to believe this is a surface mold. Again, I've got a two-year-old. I really think that he probably spilt something along the wall, juice or something, and mold has just gone off from there. So, now that we've got our bleach ready to go, just a little bit in there with a sponge, we're just going to take our sponge, bring it out a little bit. We don't need to get too crazy with it. And we're just going to start applying the bleach along the wall. And it should take, yep, takes it right on off. No problem. And this is what my walls look like now that they have been cleaned. As you can see, the mold is gone. Once you've cleaned your walls and removed the mold, you're going to have to dispose of the bleach. What I choose to do is I pour it out in my backyard. Again, I'm a homeowner, and I just picked a spot where I don't care if grass is growing or not. Other people may have ethical qualms about that, and if you don't own the home, you may need to speak with your landlord and see how they want you to dispose of it. You could also pour it down the drain. I've heard that as a possibility, but I've also heard that can corrode your pipes, pouring straight bleach down your drain, so I choose not to do that. Uh, however, um, people do it. So, after you've cleaned the mold area, you want to make sure that you ventilate the room by opening windows and make sure you keep pets and children out of that space until the walls are dry. Once everything is dry, you should be safe to allow pets and children back into the area. So that is how you clean a mold off of walls. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video.